listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Being Human After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Being Human After Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another amazing After Buzz TV after show for your favorite show, Being Human. We're on season four, episode 11, Ramona the Pest. I'm your host, Shano, and I'm joined here by my awesome and lovely co host, Kelly. Hey. And we're going to be discussing Ramona's a pest. Yeah. We get to find out who Ramona is this episode. Josh controls the wolf. Finally. Yes. One Finally. with the wolf. He is one with the wolf. Sally and Aiden equal friends. Friend zone. And Kenny knows about Astrid. Or rather what happened to her this episode, which was mm. very gruesome. Yeah. Oh, man. So let's talk about Ramona's a pest. So we get to find out who little Smokey finally is. Right? Yeah. Another ghost in a, in a like, locked up room, bold, boarded up room. Yeah. So... There all these years? I, I don't like this. I, I, I think she's just... The whole time, I'm, I'm writing down, manipulate, manipulation, she's lying, she's, mm -hmm. not, she's not really telling the truth, whatever. She was kept in there for a reason. Yeah, so... That's what I think. We don't really know anything about her, except that she's been around this season making appearances... Uh, we've learned quite a bit this episode. For example, I think the most telling thing is that now she's walking around the house. Mm -hmm. Now, is she choosing to do this? Like, was was she able to do it before? Probably not. We, we were thinking that she got released when Aiden did the whole Kool-Aid man thing into the wall, right? Yeah. So, which was great. Which was funny. You, but, pointed, you pointed that out. I didn't catch it. Then well, that. then they said it, too. Yeah. But, that was yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, and also that Beatrice is her twin sister. Twin sister. Yeah. So that was a big deal, too. Mm -hmm. So I just, I feel like she is a really malevolent spirit, and she just wants to cause trouble. Well, it's just like how the, how she scared that little boy. That's, That's right. what I think of. Like, why would a nice little girl do that to a little boy, scare him when he was trying to look at the house? Yeah, and she, like, scratched him up, too. Yeah, and those scratch marks on the on the floor... Yeah, I th we think right that they're they're tallies and the and we think I well I think I was gonna do this for my prediction but hell oh, I'll just sorry. say it anyway sorry. I'll just say it anyway they're deaths in the house I agree they have to be she's keeping track and this time there's been the most deaths ever in the house well we were at like six or seven there were six at yeah. first and now there's like over ten yeah right? ten, ten more added I think yeah, right because yeah. they're the whole pack right there's probably like six seven more people in the pack yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of people dead now, and she's just tallying it up because she's taking some kind of sick pleasure out of it, right? Like, she's she hasn't gone to the other side. She never got her door. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe mm -hmm. she is just doing her reaper status, you know, just, like, killing people yeah. and then messing with them, the, the living people who are there. That's why she locked. But I feel like she's connected to the people in the house, you know? Like, I feel like she's connected to Josh and... Nora and Aiden and Sally because she's like, no, you, I have want to protect you to um, Josh when he was locked in the room. But yeah. then she made him change to kill everybody. Yeah, so she, it's she like, forced him to get angry. Yeah. So I think she wants to like them to stay with her forever, but also wants to kill people. I don't know. I don't trust her. Maybe she wants to use them to kill people mm -hmm. because they're they're volatile. Let's, they're monsters. Yeah, let's say up. it. They're straight up monsters. They're they're trying to live decent human lives, but they can't. There's yeah. it, even Aiden said it this episode too when he was talking to Sally. Um, everything ends in disaster with them. Their love lives, especially their relationships, end in disaster. And it's not just the love interest relationships or the romantic ones. You know, it's sure Aiden's had like four out of the five women he's been with die, right? Or three out of the four, mm -hmm. whatever. 
but uh, he every, there's so many people that die in the house or there's like conflict that's happening because there's a ghost there's a werewolf or two werewolves and there's a vampire so there's always going to be conflict in that house and people are always going to be encroaching on each other's territory because yeah. this is the nexus where everybody's meeting in the being human house but i just want to know why she's starting to do this now even with like robbie you, clearly she was the one i feel like that killed robbie with all that water and stuff yeah. like final destination type stuff happening right. and why these past like three years plenty of people have become in and out that like why didn't she start to kill nora at first you know I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Let me just... Okay. Look, I want to address your thing about Robbie. And I... Yeah. So I, I was thinking... Let's let's talk about the closet. And we'll talk about Robbie. So okay. the kid reaching out, grabbing, scratching the kid at the closet. I was like, okay, her power is limited to like maybe that room in the surrounding area. I know. I just thought of the Robbie thing now. That's yeah. Fine. But that's good that you brought yeah. it up. Because now we see the hole in that. She can't just be limited to that room in the surrounding walls maybe. It's got to be like... She can do everything that she wants. She's just messing with people whenever she wants. And she's she's making it look like she's limited, but she's not really. Yeah. So she killed Robbie. That's down in the basement. That's like two floors down. Yeah. Right? And, uh, man, I, oh, I had something good going on, but uh, I kind of lost it. But I, yeah, I just don't point. know. I just don't know why it's happening now. Yeah. I don't really like that she's the big bad, you know, of the season because it's just because we've been in that house for so long and all of a sudden oh there's been a ghost there the whole time yeah and now she's starting to kill people like i don't know doesn't make sense doesn't add up to me maybe sally's her whole blood magic thing maybe that's, it brought her maybe it activated it yeah. that's what i wanted to say maybe maybe even because she went back and she did that time warp thing and saw that room saw little Smokey in there mm -hmm. who's now Ramona getting pinned down with all the other witches and like being stabbed in some sadistic ritual right to, or witch ritual so now Ramona is perhaps aware that Sally knows she's there now so she started messing with them more Ramona started messing with them more because of that perhaps Maybe. Eh. I don't know I just don't th if she's such a bad person you know bad spirit why wait till now wait why wait till they know because the writers are running out of time yeah. <laughs> they need to have they somebody. Need something they need to have somebody messing with the cast yeah. messing with our favorite since our they, crew yeah since they already killed the other big bad the wolf pack yeah they they totally got them done um but uh were we finished let's i i want to wrap up talking about yeah. little smoky slash ramona before we go she's, into the wolf pack but is there annoying. anything else about her no she's just annoying she's as a hell pest. that's she, a great way to call her <laughs> she sure is a pest um mm -hmm. uh, okay so let's talk about the wolf pack uh josh he controls his wolf he finally does like the pete wolf stuff the hippie wolf the the one with your wolf type well, thing that sally did something right she did something right finally yeah. she didn't take the easy way out and use blood magic she did the hard thing and went in josh so that she could help him fight his battle mm -hmm. the hard way yeah. and like coach him through it and guide him she was kind of like his spirit guide yeah. in in his visions and i thought that was so fascinating i wrote down in my notes uh it's it's like she's going through all these we've been going into different dimensions and time like throughout the time space continuum and not just like outside of the human body We're, we went inside and what really is where it really is the universe then in the human mind mm -hmm. and i thought that was so cool that they did that and we got to see what was going on like the struggle between josh and his wolf and he was so scared in in his mind and it's a it's a really big contrast to what's going on on the outside where he's either like concerned about what's going on with himself or he gets really angry yeah so it's a big contrast to both and we get to see that division it's like a big it was a josh inception that's what i wrote because sally went in and they were in the forest at first and he's, she's like think of a happy place so he's the real josh is thinking of this forest and then the josh forest person is thinking of the house and then they go to the house and then the wolf's there too and yeah and he's still scared but then mm -hmm. eventually he's just like pet, pets him and everything yeah and you could uh that at first the wolf just looked like a dog to us right like a regular wolf yeah yeah and then the when he put his hand up to it though you really get a feel for how big it is mm -hmm. because his hand I, i'm not sure if it was really 
Sam Huntington's hand, Josh's hand there. But still, like, a guy's hand up there, it's like, damn, that thing, it has a big head. Yeah. So, um... I just want to know how Sally knew to do that. Like, I'm going to jump inside you. And think of a think of a place so I'm not taking over the wolf. Like, how does she know that? I know she explained, like, that's how the Reaper did with her. But, like, she didn't know to, that, to jump inside. You know? She didn't yeah. know to jump inside. Well, she wanted to see his internal struggle, I guess. Yeah. And she needed, she needed a window. She needed him to be open to what she was going to try to do. And, and therefore... It was going on, so she, she, hey, they did it to her. Actually, it wasn't the Reaper that did it to her because her, the Reaper was her. So yeah. the Reaper, Reaper was like her wolf. Yeah. Her friends were able to get inside her. You remember that? Because, uh, what was her name? The psychic girl, Zoe. Oh, yeah. Zoe helped them get inside Sally back in season two. Mm hmm. So that was, I, I thought that was really cool. I thought that was a good way she for them. She did a them. good job. Yeah, to do that. Sally didn't take the easy way out, and she was able to get things done. Mm -hmm. They only went two levels down in, 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 in Josh's dreams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like, uh, flying through the hallways or anything. No, n none of that. Yep. None of the upside-down, topsy-turvy stuff. Yeah. If they did that, that would have been, like, crazy madness. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did mention that they cut, when we were watching it together, that... It was sure good that they were able to get inside him and show the, a real wolf because they cut down on the special effects. Yeah. They were they made it look really good this time. The the wolf. The wolf, yeah. Josh wolf. Josh's wolf when yeah. he when he turned Tur and he attacked the hell out of everybody. Right after, I like how Nora said that she he, he used to protect her from danger. Now he's trying to pull her in, and then right when he, that happened, like right after she said that, Ash comes in with a gun. And he does protect her. A little too much, though. Like, Let's killing everybody. Overkill. Yeah. I mean, but he had to do it. Because what would they do? If he... He has given them so many chances, right? He did the man-wolf yeah. thing uh, earlier in the season. And then they were, like, were scared and kind of respected him a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then he... They they even took him and they, they manipulated him to the point where he did turn people, yeah. right? That was a big ellipse, by the way. I didn't like we that didn't, they did yeah, that. Yeah, we didn't even know that he turned, scratched somebody. They just mentioned it this in the beginning. In passing. Know? Yeah, like, I wanted to see that kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, I could even just like. Just oh. like, that's yeah. it. And then, ow, oh. Yeah, like, yeah. oh no, gosh, I'm going, mm -hmm. yay, I'm going to turn. Yay, yeah, I'm part of the Manson wolf family. Mm -hmm. But he they even manipulated him so much, kind of, that even... He was sticking up for them versus Kenny. That's like true. when uh, Astrid and Kenny wanted to leave or whatever, he's like, no, like they'll protect her, which is crazy because they didn't yeah. really protect him. They kept like poking him. They were. And he got yeah. Stockholm syndrome right there. He was falling in love oh, with his captors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, make it, and just believing, like, oh, they're going to protect, hey, they were going to protect me. They just want to do this. They just wanted what's best for the pack. Mm -hmm. No. No, Josh. You're getting brainwashed, man. Yeah. And it, it, him and Aiden almost got to the point where they were going to uh, perhaps even f get... Duke Aiden, it out. Duke it out, and Aiden may have snapped his neck just like he did in that vision that Sally saw. Yeah. And Sally didn't want to have any of that happen. Cal Sally calmed them down because um, Aiden was kind of making fun of his wolf, being like, oh, you blame the wolf, you yeah. blame the wolf. And that was going to kind of bust out the wolf on him, but... Uh, I don't know, it was just, it was, they calmed down. They were arguing about everything right there. They yeah. were arguing about, uh, about Kenny being the son. They were arguing about vampires in general and how they're, like, terrible and they suck or whatever and they're mm -hmm. just bad people. And, and then they started throwing, uh, Aiden started throwing back at him, like, oh, well, yeah, the wolf is just, you're just using the wolf as an excuse and, oh, you're, you're gonna hurt everybody, la, la, la. Yeah, but they calmed down. They Thankfully. did. They did calm down. A lot of blood everywhere. Uh, really gory, too. Pretty gory. Sap and Sons came, cleaned up the mess. And we had, uh, you, you said when Kenny came in, we were like, oh, he's lying. And you, you was it you who said something about the, the blood smell? Yeah, why couldn't he smell that blood? Yeah. Unless they, no, they, he couldn't have cleaned it up. Because I feel like right where Kenny was standing, mm -hmm. wasn't that um, where... Uh, where she died yeah it you know, was right, right on the corner right there it was right where she died he was next to it you think you would think that okay if aiden was straight up lying the whole time and mm -hmm. he didn't say anything about astrid then he would have been like 
oh, I smell her here. I know Astrid's blood. But he, I don't know, he started off saying, like, she's not here. Yeah. And that, I don't know. He fessed it, up to it. Yeah, but maybe maybe he doesn't bite her. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe that's why he doesn't smell be. her blood. Yeah. Because it's a wolf blood and it doesn't yeah. taste good. That's right, yeah. It's not very palatable to the vampires. Yeah. But it doesn't, it's sad. That, but it's a hey, it's a good uh, way to close a storyline. It is good. I and I applaud you for pointing that out. Yeah, Cons because because they needed to kill off the pack. Seriously, those yeah. guys were they were messing with everything, mm -hmm. you know. And we're getting down to now. After this, we have two episodes left. So e sad. Episodes twelve and thirteen, and we're done. I know. But yes, closing out some storylines. We opened up some new ones with. Well, Ramona. Not oh, like because we forgot about that little yeah. smoky one that was earlier in the season. And guess what? It's not going away. No, it's not going until away. the end. I guess two more episodes of it. Great. Yeah. I would have rather had the werewolves be the big bad. You know, at least mm, at least they're some... tangible. Yeah. 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 You know, I see. I don't. I. I kind. A part of me doesn't like storylines like that, or in films, in in TV shows, where they get like really psychological on you. You know, where like things like you're not sure if they exist or not, and it just it just makes it kind of hard to like, digest the story. Ramona, you're talking about, right? Yeah, because we're yeah. not sure how she is, and from the teasers we saw, it's like, oh, everybody's coming back. It's like, so they're because they're all ghosts, they're all going to be coming back, or is Ramona going to be doing all this psychologically? Yeah, it's just a big like it's just a big mind f yeah. to everybody. I just don't like including it. us. Yeah, I just don't like it because. Like I said, we were so used to this house. We've been in this house for three years, and all of a sudden, oh, there's somebody there this whole time. You know? I just think it's kind of a cop-out. Yeah. And just, like, the whole back-in-time thing and how, oh, now guess what? Sally loves Aiden and yeah. because of the time thing. I just don't... I feel like, why did we watch it the past three years? We could have just watched it now and, you know, just not have to know about that. You know? I feel like yeah. all our hard work of watching it's kind of thrown out the window with the Ag season agreed uh speaking of sally and aiden yeah. they're just friends now friend zoned but there was i i really like the scene where they're in the basement together though uh not the makeout scene that was oh, nice that, too though. that dream sequence yes <laughs> which you totally called that's right i i actually thought i had a crazier uh proposition on that i thought it was going to be uh, Ramona, like somehow taking Sally's form and possess it, or possessing her in some way, and then going down there and and touching Aiden and being able to do all that stuff. I mean, you got to the point that she's a bad spirit, I think, but not yeah. that strong, I guess. Yeah, I mean, not, she's a ghost. Yes, she can't. Not, she can't touch. We haven't seen her go through or try to touch anybody yet. Yeah. Yeah, but clearly she can go through walls. She was just using that whole facade, like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I was trapped in this room. But uh, yeah. but Sally and Aiden, so I really like the scene where they're talking about just everything. She kind of, like, uh, just broaches more of the subject about her falling in love with Aiden for years in the other timeline. Mm -hmm. And it was nice to see him confused like not not that we haven't seen him confused recently but it was just like kind of like the expressions on his on his yeah. face because you could tell he was in like he loved her he likes like he thinks he loved but he's confused about it like all of a sudden and i liked how he did it too you could tell that i liked the scene though when they're in the dmv and yeah. aiden's just talking to himself saying all these crazy things yeah. and the people looking even the like we saw the dude looking at him but then even the lady next to him was kept glancing yeah i thought that was really funny too kelly mm -hmm. and that's i kind of forgot that like we it for us and for him it's it's just normal that's oh yeah. he's just talking to sally but we forget that they live in this world where nobody else except for vampires and werewolves and other ghosts can see ghosts yeah so the other humans around the norm the mundies the normies are all looking at him like dude what the hell is this guy this guy's like a nut job right here yeah. i would be that way too yeah. i'd be like dude, what the hell especially because his face is all beat up a little bit too so that That's even right. kind of makes him look a little bit crazier yeah and, and the hair. dmv makes people crazy <laughs> the dmv <laughs> does it drives people nuts what were they i don't even remember what number they were were they like c 500 or even lower they than were that? 600 something but i don't know when yeah th what when did it they finished started. i yeah. don't i don't remember where they started at but i want to say it was c 200 something, something like that <laughs> it was really bad but yeah yeah but uh i could i could see how 
just it, it was just a really funny scene i enjoyed it mm-hmm. and then what was your favorite quote from that scene uh, the I, whole jerking thing yeah no more jerking just exploring he kept repeating that i like how he said because now because she ca- was explaining how she wants to look for her door and if she helps ramona uh that maybe she'll find her door and he's like wait what you're gonna leave mm-hmm. after they just had that conversation about how he needs to like kind of move on a yeah. little bit yeah and then he's like no wait don't and i liked how he said like logic is he's is thrown out the window when your heart's involved and she's like Whoa. oh is, is your heart involved it's Aww. getting cute tear yeah yeah i really li- i like the relationship even though they can't touch each other it's I mean, she should just get inside him and just yeah. do just, like just do something I with his mind really gross <laughs> yes right i know what you're gonna say uh, i know what you're thinking now you just put that in my mind <laughs> Just yeah. help so him she, out. She could. She could totally do that. And then she'll <laughs> That'd know. That'd be really messed yeah. up for him, though. Oh. oh, yeah. And Nora, that was funny. Or Let's backtrack to near the beginning of the episode where jo- uh, sorry, Aiden was having that dream, right, that we were talking about. Oh, yeah. And Speaking Nora of. comes in and is, like, looking for a sledgehammer. And he and had a little surprise. He had a morning wood. Yep. But thanks to his dream. And, and Nora was like, oh, my goodness, why was I looking there? Why why is that happening? It just, like, lunged at me. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. yeah. And he had to get a pillow. He couldn't just, he couldn't just pull up the covers. He had to get a pillow. That's, that's how, that's how well endowed he probably is. A yeah. vampire probably bigness. Strong. 200 years of that, man. <laughs> 200. He's got a stake down there. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what he has. Solid. <laughs> No, but I think in the B, uh, the UK version, I think they kind of try and get uh, the vampire and the ghost together, uh, from what I remember. So I, it's kind of similar. I don't yeah. know why I just said that, but yeah, fun fact. I don't know if it worked out. It kind of went off the deep end. The UK it's because one. everybody loves the two characters. They're like, it's the, it's the, the best, it's a leading guy. Mm-hmm. And and the best and, and the, like the leading girl. One so of the of course, leading guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you wanna you wanna oh come on we we all know that as cool as as Josh is as Sammy Huntington is we all know that Aiden is like the the guy on the I don't show. Know. Well, I think that it's his se- season. Yeah, definitely his season. But I don't know. I like I think both of them are kind of. But I maybe now that like he has Nora, it's kind of like. That's why they, he's lower, you know? He's not because the leading guy. Because he's married, guy. and yeah. he's not the single man who mm-hmm. can be with any woman he wants. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. He's not, he doesn't have much to figure out. Story. He does have a lot storyline-wise to figure out, but not, at least that, not that part. Where, yeah. like, we have to f- still follow Aiden with everything, you know? More things to figure out for him, if that makes sense. Yes, that does make sense. Yeah. He, has, he has more conflict, because cool. he can switch partners a lot more easily. Yeah. Yeah. So, Kenny knows about Astrid being dead. So we kind of talked about that a little bit. Uh, but I, I, the whole time during the episode when Kenny was saying he wanted to leave, I didn't buy it. I didn't feel like he really wanted to. I felt like he was just saying something. The, this whole episode, I kept writing manipulation in my notes. You don't really trust anything no. anymore. You're like, why is it? But it's, I guess it's gonna, some things are gonna be easy like that because it's towards the end. Yeah. But we're just like, no, there's something else. Yeah. I Up wa- with this. Yes, exactly. I wanted to say, oh, he's just testing Aiden. He's going to see what Aiden's going to do. And then mm-hmm. he's going to backstab him somehow. It's like this big plot that Kenny's putting together so that he can catch Aiden in a lie. And I guess it didn't turn out that way. Yeah. It was like he was really believing everything. He genuinely thought him and Astrid were going to go away. And and he was listening everything to everything that Aiden was saying to him. Yeah. But now we have... Aiden is like lied to, he lied to him and which was it was kind of a weird thing where he bags up Astrid and Ramona's Separates, like yeah yeah and Ramona's like hey she was special huh and he said yeah what I can't, that was so ambiguous I couldn't get it what did you feel it's his son's first girlfriend and also the way like she did want to you know get away like she was a good person kind of until she kind of bet you know the pack turned her yeah but so i think that's why and he he knew that kenny cared for her a lot i i think that's why he said it i don't think it was anything weird about it yeah it wasn't something like he liked her too no, kind of thing no. no yeah he's all eyes for sally now i think yeah i think so but that, that's all he can have for her eyes yeah. no he can't touch <laughs> no no uh but yeah like i 
I feel, I felt like Kenny wanted, I, he's just a kid, you know, he's, he's only 17, like, he's not 217, he's 17, um, like a year in vampire. Vamp uh, vampire years, yeah. exactly. Uh, so he probably did, he's just, why, uh, who, what 17 <clears throat> year old wants to be the boss of, like, I mean, it sounds good, but then when you do all the work and everything, you're like, oh man, I don't want to do this. Yeah, and you I know what, if he did leave too, he, he would actually have a harder time. To be to be honest, if so, maybe he sh maybe this was for the best because mm -hmm. he has to feed four times the amount that a normal vamp does. Yeah. Because he's got to compel everybody around him. Well, yeah, and like teenagers are kind of reckless; they don't think things through. So that's probably why he's like, "I just want to get out of here with my lady," because he, you know, crushes and like first do, loves. He wants to do a little Romeo and Juliet yeah. action. So I mean, I'm sure in the end, it, if it did work out, it wouldn't have worked out. Like. Maybe Josh was right in thinking that Kenny might have turned on her because he would get hungrier, and then she would have seen him like a freak. Oh yeah, you that's know, right. once he was weak, and who knows how she would feel about that. And he can't drink from her because yeah. he's going to be disgusted with her blood most of the time, right? Or like, or is he because he's half? He's like a mixed bag. That's right. He's like a mutant yeah, vampire. Yeah, I forgot about that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Even though we're talking about him like having to do that, I forgot that the those hybrids are like part vampire and and part werewolf, some crazy mixture. Yeah, so maybe it would, I don't know. Or is it more maybe it's more of like a mutated vampire. Mm -hmm. Not so much wolf in there. Yeah. Just cuz they have wolf blood. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But I like I liked how Aiden tried to kind of he did say that she died, but that Aiden, di that Josh didn't kill him, but the pack did. Because in a way, they kind of did. They did. So he just did a half lie. He did a white yeah. lie. I'm okay with it. Kenny's, Kenny's not. not. <laughs> it's too bad. But like father, like son, you know, Astrid's a ghost now. Just like how Sally's a ghost. Oh, for man. That's Aiden. painful. Yeah. Or is like, I know, I, when you were saying, like, it's a trap, kind of, I thought, wait, is this really Astrid or is this like Beatrice? I mean, um. Ramona. Yeah, I felt like that too. Yeah, but I think it. I think it has to be. Cause how often do we get werewolves coming back? Seriously, like when when uh, Sally when Sally was a werewolf, she became a ghost again. See, but that's just this season and in the timeline. And mm -hmm. come on, we we just had a whole pack die in the being human house. Why aren't any of them ghosts? We don't see them walking around, do yeah. we? We don't see them going up to Kenny and and haunting him or whatever. Or, or even Josh or anybody else. Well, maybe because their kind of stories close, like, hey, you guys were idiots, you're dead. Yeah. But Astrid had some hope and That's still right. need to mend some things. Maybe they all got their doors right away and mm -hmm. they're going to hell because they're evil. Whereas yeah. Astrid, she has unfinished business, so she's got to stick around. And, yeah. and she had to deliver the message of, oh, Josh really killed me. Yeah, he got angry. I couldn't run away. Uh, but may or maybe like one of the werewolf guys is with his wife with the baby too, that one guy. Oh yeah. I don't know. He's probably not. Probably in hell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's probably in hell. But just food for thought, I guess. Yes. But yeah. Well, that about does it on our topics. Let's go ahead and move into our news and gossip. After Buzz TV news. All right, I got some juicy tweets up in here that I tweeted out from my account at Sean Austin O. So I was uh, taking a look at the Being Human uh, account at Being Human Sci-Fi and uh, found some interesting tweets that they were retweeting from Sam Witwer as well as Megan Rath. Uh, Megan Rath actually retweeted this uh, this Canadian actor Omari Akil Newton. I hope I said your name right. At Omari Akil Newton. Awesome running into fellow Canadian artists at Megan Rath and at Pat Keeley and at Vanessa Matsui in LA, go see hashtag three night stand. And he posted a twit pic of them all hanging out in some random bar in LA. Cool. So, so she's still here, maybe. She she maybe she's still here. Maybe she's hanging out here now. Mm. Um, but that's that's pretty neat that they're they're all and that was only a few days. Oh, he tweeted this out eight hours ago, so maybe they're hanging out here right now. Or yeah. it could be a pic from the weekend, who knows? But uh, this is actually the guy Omari um, Newton. He's actually the guy who plays Lucas on Continuum, which is a show that I like watching. And uh, I'm, it's another one of those Canadian shows. It's all fil it takes place in Canada, unlike uh, Being Human. It takes place in Boston, but it's filmed in Canada. Yeah. So this one takes place, Continuum takes place in Canada, filmed in Canada. 
and it's all obviously all Canadian actors. And is it art. sci-fi or is it? It's on sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. it's on the sci-fi channel. It's a good show. I enjoy it. It's about this chick who's from the year twenty fifty or something like that, and she or maybe twenty eighty five. I forget exactly. And she she actually comes back in time to uh, to the present day, and she has to stop these these terrorists who go back from the future to incite riots and stop the banks from controlling everything in the future. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's a pretty right. cool show, actually. I, I need to catch up on it still. I'm on season two, and uh, I'm watching it on Netflix right now. Sam Witwer, from his account, at Sam Witwer, tweeted out, at Big Z Multiverse, Ramona isn't the ghost we deserve. Ramona is the ghost we need, so we'll hunt her because she can take it hashtag being human in case you didn't know that is an allusion to batman the the dark knight <laughs> because ramona they need just like batman where he's like running off with the dogs chasing him saying that he killed harvey dent and oh, everything yeah, like that yeah. yeah that's that whole scene that he's alluding to right there and uh that's what we need to make ramona because she needs to be this big bad like you keep Ooh. saying kelly she needs to be that big bad that everybody is going to gang up on and we're going to have that villain finally that we can all attack and be satisfied by the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Lastly, at Sam Whitworth tweeted out, Okay, we're all thinking it. Sally's family are just a bunch of douches. Kick us out! Hashtag being human. Well, I don't know. His whole family's dead. <laughs> And uh, two of his, the kids died in that house, so I would kind of want to get rid of that house, yeah. too. And everybody who's, everybody it has become ghosts. Yeah. In, in the in the Rath family. Well, not Rath, was it? Malik. Malik, Malik, Malik. family. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course he feels bad. I, I Was that the same actor, though, that played the father in the previous season? I don't even remember seeing him. I remember seeing him once, I think. Oh, okay. But I don't think, I think this one looked younger. I have no idea if it's the same guy or not. But Should have made him look older and, like, more, like, exhausted. Because she even yeah. said, oh, you look tired. Uh huh. If they put more touches of gray in his beard and in his hair, too, that would have been. In his stash. In his stash. Yeah, yeah. right. Did you have any news in gossip? Uh, yeah. Well, um, the new Veronica Mars movie is out. I think it's on iTunes and it might be in theaters still. And actually, Sam Huntington plays a role in it. Oh. Yeah, he plays like a small, I'm not sure if it's small, but I think it is, um, role called, Lu he plays Luke Haddleman. Hal Hald Haldeman. Yeah. So, fun fact, if you ever, he's, he's still doing some stuff, Sam Huntington. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Uh, he actually appeared in Brian Kamars for two episodes back in, I believe, like season two. Oh, there you go. We got so a Veronica it was Mars just a fan. Cameo, yeah, yeah. Love Did you Veronica see the Mars. movie? Of what? course. Oh, I watched it twice. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. well, cool. Thank, thank you, Marissa. So there you go. Thanks. And also, uh, the I know I mentioned the UK being human. Uh, ac but hey, the being human US version is actually going to premiere in the UK. Opposite. Uh, the second season, though, because I guess the first season already premiered, but the second season of the U.S. one, the one that we're talking about, is going to premiere in the U.K. Uh, Thursday, April 10th at 10 p.m. on U.K. TV's Watch Channel. So, fun fact, if you're Neat. ever in the U.K. and want to watch old episodes, of, well, old for us, new for them. Yeah, I'm... I'm I, I think... I'm wondering if they could see it on Netflix or not, because I think Netflix does something where it's like they, like they don't certain, have yeah, you yeah certain can't, countries yeah you can't watch the uk or you could like you can but you need to like crack the code because my friend can watch the uk netflix stuff but i don't know how to do that yeah but i'm not a jailbreaker figure out, yeah i don't know that stuff either you can figure it out but i don't think is being human on netflix it is being oh, human okay. uh the previous three seasons are oh, on okay netflix it's also right on now. xfinity that's, what I, that's how i watch it uh, th that's funny that you mentioned about uh, Sam Huntington, but there's Sam Huntington's actually him and Megan Rath. I don't know if we talked about this last time on News and Gossip, but they're in a movie together called yeah. Three Night Stand, mm -hmm. and I actually got to see the poster for it. It was it's on uh, it's on uh, Megan Rath's Twitter account. I think she posted it. Oh up. yeah, cool. So it was pretty neat, and it was just uh, it's. And I think Megan Rath is playing... The she's, wife, she's right? Not, is she playing the wife? It looks or is like, it like she's the wife, and it looks but like... But she may be... I think she's the girl in the middle, though. The one that's, like, tearing the I wife and, and him apart. Because the other girl looks more... They, the husband and... Uh, what's her name? 
Chicory, em Emmanuel Chicory, yeah. look both confused, and she's like, what? So I think she's the wife, I, I think. That's what, I don't know, Megan oh, Rath. Yeah. But well, I don't know, oh. we'll have to see it and yeah. find out. We will find out. Yeah. Well, that does that's it for our, news and gossip. That's our news and gossip. Mm -hmm. Let's move into predictions. And now, you're after Buzz TV. Predictions. Well... It sure feels like we're coming up on the final episode of Seinfeld, sci-fi being human style, because they're bringing back everybody. According to what they were saying in the teaser, mm -hmm. everybody's coming back. We saw, what, Henry in there coming yeah. back as a ghost? And, um, the fur what was it? Was it his wife or his fiance? Did we say? No, no, the oh, brown-haired yeah. girl. Yeah, that's right. right? Uh, it was Julie? Josh. Yeah, Julie, Josh's ex-fiance. That's yeah. right, the one that died. And, but she got her door. See, it's like it's a total mind f. The yeah. whole everything that they're doing, and damn uh, Ramona. Damn Ramona, the pest. Mm -hmm. So, it just feels like that. Uh, it's like Scrubs too. Like the last. Well, not including the intern season, but like the last season, he like walks through this hallway and sees all the old people and so. I don't know. It's cute. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Oh no no no! It's great I know I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, these, okay, and I already said this earlier. The marks on the floor—they're all the people who have died in the house. Mm -hmm. We will find that out for sure. Maybe she'll reveal it in some way, or they'll find out. I guess. I agree. I don't understand how she could do that though, because she's a ghost. How can she? She's that it... malevolent. Well, she can yeah. touch things. She's she. Hey, she's been around since the '70s. Right, sixties, seventies. Yeah. So she's de she's probably developed her ghost power. And also, um, didn't should didn't um Sally for a minute like be able to like pick things up and float? Yeah. Right. She just, still can, but it just yeah. takes a lot of energy. Yeah. So maybe that's what she's been doing in that room. Do you have any other stuff? Oh, that's it on my predictions. I think that Kenny's gonna die, especially if he ends up against like duking it out with Josh, because I feel like. Aiden. No, Josh. Josh cause Josh oh, because he'll want to, yeah, he'll want to kill Josh. That's uh, right. True that. I don't, and I feel like, even though that Kenny is Aiden's son, he's going to side with Josh because Sally's going to be like, no. You know what he did was I don't know. I feel like I I feel like if if it came down to it, and it was just like a duke it out between, not necessarily between all of them, but if it got down to Kenny and Aiden. Aiden would still kill Kenny, even though he's his son. Yeah, but especially if Aiden, if Kenny kills Josh or Nora, you know, if, not that he's going to. Oh, do you think anybody's gonna die during the? We got two episodes left. Let's make some long-term predictions here. I don't think so. I I feel Kenny. like Kenny. Kenny. Okay, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny will die. The ghost Ramona will be die or banished yeah. somewhere. Um, I feel like I feel like we're gonna have a being human like main person die. Maybe Aiden, because then he'll be a ghost and they'll live happily ever after. No, he won't. Vampires can't be ghosts. I don't know. I'm just saying. I think I think you know. I what? mean, you know what? There's a lot of things that couldn't happen, and then it happened in this past season. True so. that. I feel like it would be fitting actually for Aiden to die because he's everybody's favorite character. We're coming up to the last episodes. It's not my favorite. He's my Josh. favorite. He's my favorite character. Josh. I like Josh too, and he's funny and quirky. Mm -hmm. But I just Aiden's just like a badass. Mm -hmm. You know, he's come on, vampires, pretty cool man, and he's a pretty cool one. Yeah, he's cool. He's like my he's, second favorite. Yeah, <laughs> he's a <laughs> rebel man. Yeah, he's 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 a total rebel vampire. He's fighting against the grain. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to be a part of the system. Yeah. Um. Wait, I have more predictions. Though. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's Interrupted right. you. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, I think Ramona was kept in that room for a reason. Because, but I don't know if it makes sense now because I this was before I realized. Wait, she killed Robbie, but she's bad, and I feel like maybe the longer she's out and able to walk around the house, she gets more powerful. But I don't know if that's true. Maybe like the more people see her, and so, I don't know. Uh, and I feel like she wants to do something bad to her sister, like possess, like possess her or seek revenge on her. That's why she wants to get her back. Maybe. She knows what happened to her. Maybe she's the one that's like, you got to get rid... Maybe she's like the, you know, the good son. Maybe Rabona was like the bad one, you know, the Macaulay yeah. Culkin to get rid of her, her. It's very plausible. But yeah. I, I could see this stuff happening. Yeah. She wants to, she wants to get back at her. Yeah. I don't know. That's probably why. That's, those are my predictions. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that about does it here for us at After Buzz TV's Being Human After Show podcast. Be sure to give us some follows. 
I'm at Sean Austin O on Twitter and Instagram. And I'm at Holly Weirdo at Twitter and Instagram. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll be seeing you back here again and buzzing with you next week. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.